John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I'm talking Victorinox. Um, I just recently picked up uh, this uh, uh, discontinued model. Uh, this is actually the Victorinox Voyager. And uh, I got to tell you a little bit about my uh, knife collecting um, and knife collection management uh, practices before I get into this here in just a few minutes. Um, and uh, I'll try to adjust the lighting here just a little bit and see if I can get this a little better. I think that'll work out all right. Um, and so, uh, so what I do um, is I do buy some knives um, if I see them used or sometimes brand new. Uh, it depends on what the model is and where I'm at, what I'm doing. But uh, a lot of my knives I get from a local pawn shop. And this gentleman has just been so good to me. Um, and he trades with me. So um, I go in and, and I bring in some knives that I'm not carrying anymore or I don't really want for the collection anymore. So uh, maybe I've already done a video or whatever. And uh, I bring those in and, he, uh, and, and I bring in other items too. And I trade with him. Well, the last few times I've traded, I've seen this knife in the case and I have really been wanting it. So I built up uh, several uh, knives over the last uh, few months, and I decided to do a trade. And it ended up being enough to get this, almost enough. And uh, he actually came down on the price for me, and I traded uh, several items, uh, several sheaths and some knives in on this uh, Victorinox Voyager. This is a a discontinued 91 millimeter uh, model, and uh, it was actually um, uh, discontinued. I'm looking at my notes here from SAC Wiki. Um, it was actually discontinued uh, in 2008, so it ran from 2001 to 2008. You can see that on uh, SAC Wiki. If you're not familiar with SAC Wiki, uh, you need to you need to find this site because it has all kinds of great information, um, and uh, you can see that um, this lists all the tools and the related models. So uh, there is the uh, timekeeper alarm, the climber, uh, the altimeter, and the travelers. So there was a Voyager and there was a Voyager light, and the Voyager light actually added an LED light and a Phillips inline screwdriver to the Voyager. So the Voyager is on basically a climber um, tool set. So it has the opening layer, as you can see here. And put those down and it has the main blade, of course. And it has the spare blade, the pin blade. And then it has the scissors, the full size 91 millimeter scissors, as you can see there. Um, and it has the opening layer, of course. I don't know if I showed those before or not. I think I did. And it has the corkscrew and the all purpose hook and the awl with the sewing eye. But as you can see, there are some differences here. And one of the big ones is that it has a digital clock right here. And so there was also the Voyager light. It added an LED uh, flashlight and an inline um, Phillips. So the LED light was actually another layer here and you press the button and it gave you a flashlight. So that was the Voyager light. They're both discontinued. But this digital clock is really cool. And it has the time there um, and then it has um, the alarm, and then also a stopwatch. So that's just a really cool model. There's some other unique things about this Voyager uh, that is really cool. Now I added the, the pocket clip. This is one of those tech clips that you can get to carry in your pocket. I've carried this a little bit, um, but it has these textured scales that are kind of translucent and uh, pretty cool uh, scales here. And then it also adds 
the plus scales. So it has the plus scales. But all of the tools are on the back side. So you have the tweezers, and the tweezers go in at an angle, and they're smaller than a normal 91 millimeter tweezer, tweezers. So if I take these out of the super tinker here, and we compare the sizes, they're just a little bit smaller, and that's so that you can fit them here all in one scale. All the electronics are on this side. The battery compartment, is right there to change the battery and I'll show you a little bit about that here in just a minute a little trick um, this has the, the toothpick and the ballpoint pen the pressurized ballpoint pen and this pen works great really works great it still works this model was in excellent condition and it has the eyeglass screwdriver as you can see here it has the pen right down there. And so these are the plus scales, but they're all on one side. And that's quite a bit different. The other thing that is unique to this model is that the all-purpose hook, as you can already see, has the nail file on it. So you got a really nice nail file. The other model that does that, and I've got this out here, is of course the compact. Compact also has that texture. Um, but other models like the Super Tinker here, and this is a new model for me, does not have the nail file on the back of the hook. So we'll put our tweezers back in here, back in our Super Tinker, which is actually a new model for me too. Just picked that up on eBay in excellent condition. So this is just a super model. It, it's just an awesome Victorinox. It has a lot of unique features um, that you don't see on others. It, um, like I say, some of the, as we saw before, some of the like or related models were the Timekeeper Alarm, the Climber, uh, the Altimeter, and the Travelers. The Travelers, I think, are what replaced this, but I think they may also be discontinued. I um, have to look that up to be sure, and if you know for sure, um, put that down in the in the comments. But I looked for those on the Victorinox website, and uh, I don't remember seeing them. So the related model to this, the closest related model um, that I can think of that is still offered would probably be the climber, but it wouldn't have uh, the timing uh, or the clock on it or anything like that. And so uh, just a unique model. I looked on eBay. There are not many uh, available on eBay for sale, and many of them are um, outrageously priced, I think, uh, very high priced. Uh, maybe they're very much worth that. I have no idea. But um, I, uh, I'm just thrilled to have this. Um, I just think this has just got a unique tool set and I wanted to share it with you. Now, I haven't carried it a whole lot, but I've carried it a little bit, um, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to carry it some more. Um, oh, the Tang stamp on here, it has the crossbows. So that would fit probably with those years. Uh, again, 2001 to uh, 2008 uh, is when it was produced, and it was discontinued and replaced by the Traveler. And um, so I don't know what else replaces this at this time. Um, but um, again, if you know that, you can put it down in the comments below. Um, but this has just got a really nice tool set on it. Now, the other two that I think I really like um, uh, that I carry quite often are, is the Compact. Of course, I carry the Tinker a lot, um, but I got the Compact here. It has the scissors, too. If you're looking for scissors and a nail file, it's got the nail file, it's got the plus scales, um, just like this, this Voyager. Um, but recently, I also picked up the Super Tinker. I just think the Super Tinker has a really nice tool set as well. I was carrying the Tinker a lot, but missed the scissors, and now I've got a full set of scissors. And I'm telling you, uh, you need to check out eBay for used Swiss Army knives. This just needed a little bit of cleaning up, 
I stropped the blades, I oiled the pivots with mineral oil, and that was it. I did polish the scales. So I polished the scales a little bit, but um, that's it. Um, and so uh, that's uh, Victorinox today. So uh, just rambling a little bit here, talking a little bit about Victorinox. Um, and uh, I thank you so much for watching.